appropriate to greet you as such. What I have today for you is a European food bowl. Um, I was, as most of you know, I was in Europe about a week ago and um, I am going to show you what I have purchased from there. Quite a bit of food and uh, there are a few items that are not food related as well that's going to come up after the food items and then there are some items that are purchased here in Canada. So I thought I would combine it all, but most of it is the European haul, food haul correction. Okay, so start off with, I'm sorry, but the Nutella, even though it is sold in Canada, it is not the same as the Nutella that's sold in Switzerland or Germany or Italy. I think that what they do is they put more sugar in the, in the Nutella that is geared for the North American market because if you do a taste test between the American, Canadian, and the European Nutella, the European one has much more hazelnut taste, you know, a little bit less sugar. So anyhow, I purchased one, two, 630 grams, and a small one, three, and this one's actually from Netherlands. I don't think there's much of a difference. Uh, I think it's all made from Italy and then it's imported there, but maybe it's a little bit different made for the for the Dutch individuals, maybe they like it um, even less sweetened than the Italians. Okay, moving on. I'm obsessed with the Ovo Maltine, the brand. Um, it's like Ovaltine in North America, except it's, uh, I think it has uh, much more vitamins in it and they make uh, various other um, food items besides just a uh, cacao drink. So I bought a lot more than these many chocolate bars of the Ovamal team, but I ended up eating two. So, <laughs> and I ended up eating one of the dark chocolate. I've never seen this before. So this is dark from the same brand. They're awesome. They're very delicious. Okay, having said that, <laughs> moving on. Ovamal team crunchy cream. And this is to spread on bread, you know, toast or waffles. It's so delicious as well. And it has, it retains all of its, uh, natural vitamins and so it's really really good and of course I have had two just because it's going to be so quick in my household and then I purchased HR told me that these jams I purchased another one which is with elderberry pure elderberry has I think 35% elderberry which is fairly good um, these are jams or syrups you can actually use them in your tea as well this one, yeah, it says also ideal as a sweetener in tea and yogurt. This one has roasted berry extract inside. And um, actually, it's not 35%, it's 35 grams. Um, and the rest is beet sugar, raw cane sugar, and the roasted berry extract. So it only has a couple of ingredients in it, which is always awesome. I like to be able to pronounce my ingredients not anything too scientific um, as if it is scientifically written I just don't think the ingredients are pure I don't, I don't know what I'm reading or what I'm eating this one is along the same lines it's from the same company um, except that the only difference is that it, instead of instead of the berry being roasted berry this one is juniper berry extract so it's again so delicious so healthy and like I mentioned before the third one that I have is elderberry okay so moving on okay I forgot to keep it along the same line Old Maltine cereal oh divine I purchased two of these so I haven't had a chance to open any of them up yet but I cannot wait you know with yogurt or some almond milk they're so tasty and of course they have all of their vitamins so it has calcium, magnesium, vitamin, all vitamins, all various vitamins. It has vitamin D, E, K, C, B1, B2, niacin, B6, uh, folic acid, B12, biotin, and uh, calcium, magnesium, and iron. Fantastic. So it's always a good way to go. And uh, I don't know, I just love everything from this brand. I think it's so delicious and nutritious at the same time. Mind that rhymes. Okay, 
So uh, let's see next. Oh, maybe I should keep it with the old machine. Of course, I have never seen this product before. It's brand new. It's all Martin crunchy biscuits <laughs> with the vitamins again. Um, never tried it, but I'm very anxious to do so. And uh, yeah, they're they're just uh, biscuits filled with uh, chocolate in the middle. So it should be very good for coffee or tea. Okay. Then of course I have to open up the Kinder, the little minis. Are so delicious. Just can't get enough of these. Um, we do have them in Canada, but again, they taste a little bit different. So, here towards the North American market. So, I purchased this as well. By the way, I ended up paying an additional 55 uh, euros to bring everything back because my luggage went over by 8 kilograms. Having said that, now that I'm going to be paying anyhow, I might as well fill up my luggage to the maximum amount, which is 23 kilograms for the airline that I'm traveling with. Okay, then I purchased this Melka cookies. Oh, they're so delicious as well. I had a couple um, yesterday, so <laughs> these are open. I couldn't, um, I couldn't uh, sustain without having, no. um, I couldn't really go another day I couldn't really continue looking at these without actually having a couple, so I have to open them up even though I knew I was going to be doing the haul today. So bad. Okay, then um, we purchased these cookies. We actually purchased a couple of boxes of these and we gave it away to friends. Um, they're a Swiss, Swiss specialty and they're really delicious as well. They have a really interesting taste. It's almost like they have cardamom inside or can't exactly put my finger on it, or more like um, cloves. It's like they have clove spice inside, but they're really delicious. Very different though. I've got an acquired taste for those. Okay. Then, oh, <laughs> these little chocolate bars are one of my favorite. They're so delicious. But uh, um, having said that, I had six in a packet and now I only have one so that's the only one that survived and I thought I would leave this one out for the haul <laughs> otherwise this would have been gone today as well I'm going to be diabetic one of these days from all this chocolate and of course Toblerone and once again it does taste different in Europe it's this this Nutella this and Nutella probably and Ovamontine are probably my favorite chocolate bars oh besides the King chocolate that's coming up in a bit. Okay, so Toblerone and then I wanted to show you my other baby. Now how amazing is this? I can rock this, I can put this in the Prado and just go rocking my baby. Like, oh, when I saw this I just fell in love. They actually had a much bigger Toblerone than this for 127 Swiss francs. Um, but I thought it was a bit too big to bring home. It was huge. It was just, can't even it's, it's much bigger than even this, so I can't even do a measurement with my body. Um, okay, next I purchased these two Swiss mugs. I thought they were so adorable. Um, I like the color, and then the cow is actually sticking out of it, as you can see. It's, it's protruding, and it has a Swiss um, flag, and it says Switzerland on the back. I was looking for a mug for a while. Um, when we were in Grindelwald and uh, I went to a lot of places but I finally found these and I thought okay these are my mugs and I wanted two. So and the color is perfect, just everything's just couldn't have made them more perfect myself. So this one's the same except it's uh, kind of like a lime green and again the cow's protruding, it says Switzerland on this side and then the Swiss flag. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the last couple perishable foods. Okay, this is my lover, Lover. I went to Grindelwald. Well, they have quite a few locations in Switzerland, but me and HR couldn't decide where we wanted to go for the weekend. So I thought I had never been to Grindelwald, and they had a Lover, the chocolate uh, store. And uh, that's where I decided to go to spend our last few days in uh, 
in, in Europe just because, mainly because the town is cute and because they have Lodra. That's the main reason. So he basically told us where to spend our weekend. How ironic is that? Had to go where the chocolate is. Okay, this is 600 grams of chocolates. And um, this, by the way, is uh, an expensive chocolate. It's not your average Toblerone or Kinder Surprise. Uh, for this 600 gram box, we paid, I think it was 65 Swiss francs, which is, last time I checked with the conversion, I think it's about $80. Canadian, but it's so worth it. You know, we go to Europe every three months or so, and uh, this is a complete must. This, by far, for me, is the best chocolate in the world. It's just my personal opinion. I like Sprungly too, but this uh, in the chocolate department, it's just much tastier. It's fantastic. I could not have made a chocolate more perfect than this. So, shall we open it up a little bit and see? How amazing this chocolate is. Yep, I think we should. Well, I think we should. I have been waiting one week to open this. I've been so patient. Oh my gosh. There you go. And it has a little bit of a, a little card with the, how they make their chocolates and where they come from. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Going to keep this as a little souvenir. Well, I go there every few months, so it doesn't really need to be souvenir, but okay. Take a look at this. Like, oh, it's a complete delicacy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's start with this. Mmm. Um, I do work out, so I'm assuming that I'm burning some of that, some of that extra sugar. Insulin. Okay, moving on to items that are clothing and things like that. I don't want to choose the medical color for venison. I actually don't really shop in the store. I've never really been in this before, but I just, I saw some cute tank tops on um, on display and I thought, oh, let's just go inside, you know. They don't wearing tank tops with jeans and stuff like that and a pair of high heels. And they're so cute. Just, it's a very plain tank top, but I like the shape. I like how it curves out at the bottom. And it's a perfect fit for me. It says Benetton at the front. It's not too vulgar. And um, it's a very nice pastel color. So super adorable, 100% cotton. Very lightweight, so that's one, and I purchased another. I wanted a blue one as well, but they're all sold out in my size. And what I like about this company, actually, it's Italian, and um, their sizes fit me, fit me really well. You know, it's hard for me to find clothes that do fit me, just because um, I'm pretty petite, so everything just flows on me, just, I look like I'm floating in it. So. Like I said, this is the same tank top, except just um, a little bit of a different color. Okay, and now I'm going to put a bit of chocolate. Last but not least, oh my god, this dress is to die for. I know it doesn't look like much, but when you put it on, oh, I felt like Cinderella in this thing. And once again, I usually don't buy dresses like this just because I float in them, but this one in particular fits me to an absolute T. Like the top area, it's it's a small, they had an extra small, I wanted to purchase that one, but uh, I just felt a little bit uncomfortable. It was not tight, it fit me. It just, it was just, I don't know, I just felt like I couldn't breathe in it a little bit. Um, Having said that, this part here on this dress fits me 
so perfectly. It just fits me uh, to my body really well. It's uh, um, quite narrow. And then it just the dress just folds outwards. It's absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I'm definitely going to wear this with heels or or a pair of boots, high boots. I went and I picked up um, a lotion. This is the pomegranate lotion, and actually it won an award in 2013. So it's for more mature skin, but um, I like really intensive moisturizing lotions. So uh, very excited to try this. And that's what it looks like. Love the Willita brand. Okay. And then this is a uh, face lotion for sensitive skin. And I'm excited to try this as well. And I went and so I purchased the Willita hand cream from France. I purchased a little sample size and I liked it so much that I went to when I went to the German pharmacy I asked the lady behind the counter if they had it in a full size and they did and they said it's one of their best-selling product. So uh, what I like about it is that it absorbs really quickly into your skin. It doesn't leave a greasy feel. You can actually do something afterwards. You know, once you put your cream on, you don't have to sit there for 20 minutes to wait until it absorbs. You can immediately go and type or write or do whatever you please. You know, it absorbs within 30 to 45 seconds. So very, very happy about that. Oh. I bought another one. This is from Roche. I actually like this brand. Um, they have quite a few products. They have a few hair care products that I tried about four years ago. I was very happy. And I should have brought more. It's just I didn't really have the time to purchase. I did want more hair care, but um, next time around, I will mark that on my to buy list when I go back. So, I haven't opened this yet since I have my other hand cream that I would like to use first, taking off the price tags as we go along. Okay, so this is from Switzerland. It's from a store called Mueller or Mueller. I start filming. Okay, so I think actually this is Italian, but I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on it. Um, no, it's made in Germany, sorry. <laughs> it's just about the name for teeny. It kind of um, threw me off. So it's just a body lotion. I have not had a chance to open it up yet, but when I did smell, you can actually smell it through here. When I did smell it um, in the store, it was really, really pretty um, passion fruit smell. So it wasn't overpowering. I thought I would give it a try. It looks very moisturizing as well. I bought this uh, lip balm with an SPF of 20, I think it's a, yeah, that's correct. Uh, and it's good to put an SPF on your lips as well. Everybody forgets to though. They always end up putting SPF on the rest of their face, um, but not on the lip. Now I'll leave this for last. This is another lotion from the same company, Fertini. So this actually smells divine. It's um, orange um, butter extract, milky orange. It's exactly what it smells like. So can't wait to try this as well. And last, I wanted this perfume for a little while. It's actually an eau de toilette. I don't usually purchase eau de toilettes and this is usually not my type of perfume. I'm usually more into the heavier scents by, um, such as Chanel Number no. 5, Coco Chanel, um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, classic, um, oh, and there are various kinds, but I thought this is such a fun scent for the summer. So it's the Escada Born in Paradise, and I think it's the newest fragrance that they have, summer fragrance. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, and uh, a few other items from the new store. So a few accessories actually, a pair of cute little earrings. Uh, rings. I actually bought some of them. They're not all for me, so don't think it's that many items for myself. A few gifts. And I thought these were so cute. Uh, they have, it says here, I love soccer, their earrings, and this one has the Swiss flags. So I thought they were really neat. And 
this, by the way, this one was a really good price. It was just four Swiss francs. I was quite impressed. So, and I had to have it since uh, I'm obsessed with owls. Anyhow, I'll leave the price tag on. Like, how adorable is that? Oh, such a fashion statement piece. Okay, and this is a pretty cool ring. Don't want to put it all the way in because I might not be able to take it off. I just like the, the, the way it's intertwined and the little black, little black uh, paint in between. And this one was on sale too for four Swiss francs. Just such a girly little uh, ring for the summer. Perhaps with my dress I could wear it. Okay, and I bought a few of these. They're uh, the Eiffel Tower earrings. Super neat. And I think I have a few, so I want to give away. Owls, of course, that one's definitely for me. Owl earrings, by the way. Oh. Something fell from here. What's this from here? Hmm. These ones are earrings once again. There's actually a lot of pairs here. I think there's six pairs. Oh my. Okay. To kind of push it down. There we go. So we have uh, a key with a little heart, so to speak, a feather, and a cross. I have to see what that belongs to. Oh, I love this ring. It's a snake. How cool is that? Oh, it's going to be one of my fashion pieces that I wear on a daily basis. Okay, I found out where... Oh my, it's really stuck. Okay, never mind. A pair of earrings, they say love. And these are a pair of rings as well, with the Eiffel Tower, once again. And uh, they actually have three pairs here, with the bows, Eiffel Tower, and a little stud. Oh, there we go. This is from a friend of mine. It's for my friend, so this one would go here. And the back would be... I have to find it, but this is the second pair. And this ring is so gorgeous too. Such a fashion piece. And lastly, another ring. So, that is for the accessories. Okay, accessories. So, I actually think that's it for the Swiss items that I purchased, everything else is from here. I just wanted to, oh, and I have this excavating kit, but I already showed it in my haul while I was in Europe. It's just a little kit with a few brushes. We went to the Miami Film Museum, and I love that stuff. I'm actually studying in school right now, so um, it's really interesting for me. Can't wait to try this kit and actually excavate whatever is inside. You can already see it's a Neanderthal mini skull, but I still cannot wait. So, okay, moving on. This is um, coffee but without caffeine. It's from a company called Pacino. And I have to say, I'm, I have become absolutely obsessed with uh, drinking their coffee or so called coffee. It tastes exactly like coffee. You can put a little bit of creamer inside, but it's made with dandelion um, root. Um, it's, it has medis medicinal properties as well, since dandelion is really good for your liver. And uh, you can basically drink this all day long since it has no caffeine and uh, still enjoy the taste of it. So, become really obsessed with these. Okay, next I have purchased the Chi um, travel kit. So I didn't mean to purchase two Chi hair straighteners, but it just came in a kit on its own. Uh, they're all sold out on the shopping channel of just a Chi hair straightener on its own. So you have, I had no choice but to buy the kit. So this one's for travel and this one's for everyday use at home. And it also came with uh, a little carrying pad. And then it came also with some clips, I think. Came with instructions. Oh, and then clips so you can clip your hair and uh, straighten it as you go along. Okay, and we're almost in, almost at the end. 
Okay, I have from chapters, I actually purchased a 2015 Kate Spade um, agenda, large agenda. I think it's gorgeous. You know, I'm really big on agendas. I have several, I use it for different purposes. So I've, um, I bought this in, uh, in uh, every design that they had, just because one would be used for school, the other one would be used for uh, business appointments. So I'm really using my agendas to their, to their full extent. And uh, this is actually a rotating stamp kit with, um, with a pad. And the stamp, you can either choose from a few different sayings. So the first one's be an elegant thinker, read fine print, don't mind if I do, light up the room, live color, colorfully, be amused. And then I have the same agenda from Kate Spade, except in different, in different designs. So this one's kind of like a book being designed, and I thought it was really cute. And then of course we have the striped design. So every single one of these agendas will be in full use. As I mentioned, I do have several agendas for different purposes. Okay, and this is from the Kate Spade website. Um, I actually did not have any coasters. And I was looking for a really cute set of coasters, um, just because when I do put my tea down, I don't want my desk to get ruined, and I thought these were absolutely adorable. They are made out of glass, and they come in a set of four, and each one of them has a different saying, like this one says, be, da be dazzling, and then leave something to the imagination. Of course, my favorite pink, Escape the Ordinary, and the last one is, oh, I love the green, Light Up the Room. So, super gorgeous, and I would definitely be purchasing this again, highly recommend it. And last bit, this is uh, Kate's Pay File Holders, again in, um, in her famous uh, polka dot scheme, like her agendas. Um, they actually do come in the striped gold as well, um, and I'm probably going to get those also. I think they're just gorgeous, so classy. I just have heard reviews where the gold starts um, peeling off a little bit, so I hope that's not the case, but I'll let you know. And that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm very pleased with everything that I purchased. Uh, and, um, next time that I do go to Europe, instead of bringing back 8 kilograms extra and paying the same fee for additional luggage, I might as well fill it up. So, uh, having said that, I am going shopping, really shopping next time that I'm in Switzerland and Germany. Most likely bringing back a full suitcase of food, um, just because I'm so limited with what I can eat in North America. Um, the food seems to... Um, the food seems to very much affect me, it's genetically modified. In Europe, it's actually outlawed, uh, therefore, uh, their food is much more pure. It's uh, natural form, natural state. And I appreciate that. I guess my body appreciates it too. Um, and uh, that's why I'll be bringing back 22 kilograms of food. <laughs> um, and um, I'm going like to enjoy every bit of it. Totally out for a couple of months. Of course, that's not going to be my main staple, but you know, in addition to everything else, I'm going to be um, consuming. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and.